Moving on now. Semiconductors power everything around us from lights, ceiling fans, computers, smartphones, and a new war is brewing between the United States and China for chip superiority. To bring us more, we on correspondent Siddharth MP spoke to Chris Miller, author of a 2022 book that's titled Chip War and a key voice on this subject. Listen to this. Beyond World is One, the best-selling author of Chip War, Chris Miller. Chris, how do you think uh, American curbs against China's indigenous semiconductor manufacturing have sort of panned out over the years? Well, I think no set of curbs is going to be perfect, but the curbs certainly have caused some problems for Chinese manufacturers. There's certain types of tools that they can't import from abroad, and these are tools that are often critical in chip making. So they're not going to stop China's progress, but are they going to slow it down? I think they already have. So also looking at uh, China's progress in a sort of globalized world where everything is interconnected, is it possible to really stop and stimmy a country's progress? Well, I think interconnection actually cuts in multiple different directions. On the one hand, it's possible to source certain types of goods from other countries, but there's also many supply chains that are so long that they intersect with U.S. technology at some point. And so the U.S. is actually able to pressure third countries not to sell to China, and we see that in the chip sector. And for China, that's a real challenge because almost every piece of semiconductor equipment or semiconductors themselves have some sort of U.S. technology inside. So when we look at some of the semiconductors, Huawei has made considerable progress at least demonstrating 7 nanometer chips which are, you know, at least a couple of generations behind but still it's uh, reasonably cutting edge. Well, that's right. Huawei is going to keep making progress. The question is, will they make progress faster or slower than the rest of the international supply chain? I think what we've seen thus far is that uh, China's leading companies like Huawei and SMIC have been a couple years behind, around five years behind the leaders in Taiwan when it comes to chip manufacturing. And that gap, that five-year gap, has been basically constant for the past decade. Uh, your book extensively writes about the history and the contemporary scenario, but uh, there's not much of a mention of India. So how do you see India's role in this global scenario where there's a China plus one manufacturing st strategy that's being looked at? I think there's a lot of excitement in the chip industry about the direction that India is headed. You see it in terms of device manufacturing, you see it in terms of assembly and test of semiconductors. There's already, of course, a very big uh, semiconductor design ecosystem in India, and there's much more discussion than ever before about building semiconductor manufacturing plants in India as well. So my guess is that in 10 years, India is going to play a meaningfully larger role in the chip industry than it does today. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.